this, which is called a needle descaler. Uh, I don't really have any idea what this uh, weapon of destruction is for, but that is what it's called. But what's neat about this, if you take it apart, all this chunk disappears. Now you have a tiny little hammer here with a removable head. This actually happens to be also the same size as a standard, you know, a head for uh, an air hammer. So I'm gonna make this into a little handheld planishing hammer. So I was digging around underneath my plasma table and I found, you know, a little, um, about a one and a half inch disc. So I'm gonna take that and weld that to the hammer and make that, uh, you know, nice little head for it. Also came across this, which is a pneumatic foot pedal. Um, this is about 20 bucks on Amazon as well. I bought this a little while ago. Some quarter inch tubing from the hardware store, the corporate conglomerate of your choice. Uh, this is a little uh, valve for uh, trimming the air pressure, you know, it's not really a regulator, but it uh, trims the air flow because you got to be able to control the, the the hammer strikes with this thing Otherwise you end up tearing your metal up. So it'll give us some adjustability So I'm gonna get this assembled here and uh, we'll see how it works so the other day I was uh, on Amazon, you know drunk Amazoning at night like most of us do and I came across This which is called a needle descaler uh, I don't really have any idea what this uh, weapon of destruction is for, but that is what it's called. But what's neat about this, if you take it apart, all this chunk disappears. Now you have a tiny little hammer here with a removable head. This actually happens to be also the same size as a standard you know, a head for uh, an air hammer. So I'm gonna make this into a little handheld planishing hammer. So I was digging around underneath my plasma table and I found, you know, a little, um, but a one and a half inch disc. So I'm gonna take that and weld that to the hammer and make that, uh, you know, nice little head for it also came across this, which is a pneumatic foot pedal. Um, this is about 20 bucks on Amazon as well. I bought this a little while ago. Some quarter inch tubing from the hardware store, the corporate conglomerate of your choice. Uh, this is a little uh, valve for uh, trimming the air pressure. You know, it's not really a regulator, but it uh, trims the air flow because you got to be able to control the, the, the hammer strikes with this thing. Otherwise, you end up tearing your metal up. So it'll give us some adjustability. So I'm going to get this assembled here and uh, we'll see how it works. I'm going to use a little 90 on there. That way it keeps the hose out of the way. I'm using the uh, the quarter inch tubing um, because it's gonna be relatively low pressure and it just keeps it you know kind of out of the way, a little more easier to use than a big old pneumatic hose. But let me grab it, which I don't have hooked up yet. So I got uh, this one here, which is just a quarter inch line for air ride. So I'm gonna stick that guy in there. This entire contraption is probably about $60 total. Everything is pretty easily sourced. A little excessive. Put that in there. on a sack of noodles. Alrighty. Alright. So let's 
give this thing a whirl. I want to have a foot uh, pedal operate it uh, just simply because this is kind of a little weird to hang on to. So I'm thinking I would just zip tie this down. But. So it certainly works. So let's uh, weld this on there and give this thing a try and see what we can do. So went ahead and welded the face on there. So I'm gonna throw the thing in my lathe and clean it up and uh, try it out. The surface cleaned up pretty well. Now it's time to give this thing a try. I'm thinking it'll work. You can see right here, this surface isn't uh, perfect. There's still a little bit of weld there, so let's give that a try. I'm gonna back it up with a flat dolly. Let me I think it works like a champ. Smooths it out real nice. Now to finish the car. Another thing that's cool with this thing is it's really small. So you can get it in those places. Like right here, it's all sucked down so I can get up inside with the dolly and bring that up. That uh, is not something you can do with a hammer very well. Another thing I found is a piece of one and a half inch DOM tubing. This will actually fit inside of it. So if you wanted to make yourself a handheld planishing hammer, that would be super easy to uh, make a nice mount for it. Plus a hoop, anyhow. One other thing that uh, I found is pretty cool is uh, even though I have a large collection of dollies, which, you know, are great for just about everything, sometimes you need something special. And what I found, you can make your own. This is a piece of uh, red oak, which is rock solid, by the way. Just a couple pieces, they laminated together. The thing that makes this nice is you can take it and throw it in your sander because it's a piece of wood, shape it down to the exact you know, shape you want for your panel, and that gives you something to dolly against. Uh, I'm sure there's not uh, as quite the longevity as a piece of steel, but these are actually a little forgiving. They actually really work quite, quite well. Um, and it costs, I don't know, $2 to make. And it's disposable. You can make a, a lot of them. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.